Dear investors, partners and viewers of the Skyway Capital News channel, my name is Dmitry Marocco and now you will see the next digest of Skyway video news in which we tell you about all important events and achievements of the Skyway group of companies and Skyway Capital. Today in our release, Alexey Volenko, Deputy General Director of CJC Stream Technologies on Organizational Development, spoke at the 3D Experience Forum 2019 in Moscow. Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has approved the package of projects proposed by the country's Ministry of Transport, RTA. Among the projects, there is the 15km Skyway urban transport system with 21 stations along the route. After the construction project of 15km Skyway urban transport system in Dubai had been approved by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, this news was trumpeted by a lot of leading international media. In addition to the construction of 15 km stream transport track in the capital of the United Arab Emirates, there will also be implemented five more ambitious projects under the program Happiness and Leisure. The Vietnamese TV channel ANTV released a report about the scientific and practical conference which was held at the National Conference Center in Hanoi in early May. Anatoly Eduardovich Unitsky presented the Skyway technology at the conference. Let us focus on these events in more detail. On the 18th of April 2019, at the Skolkovo Technopark Moscow, the Studied 3D Experience Forum 2019, the forum for industrial sector entrepreneurs seeking to use advanced technology in their business. The forum was organized by Dassault System Company, a leading developer of digital tools and services for tracking the product life cycle at any stage of its creation and operation, the search for new infrastructure solutions for the aerospace, automotive, engineering, mining, nuclear and oil and gas industries, the development of alternative ways of interaction, training and production, digitalization of the Russian economy and industry were the main topics of the forum. Among the forum speakers there was also Alexey Voilenko, Deputy General Director of CJC Stream Technologies on Organizational Development. In his report, Alexey shared his experience of introducing advanced digital technologies in the process of developing and building Skyway transport complexes. His Highness Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and uh, Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates, ruler of Dubai, has approved the package of projects proposed by the, the country's Ministry of Transport, RTA. Among the projects, there is the 15km Skyway urban transport system with 21 stations along the route. We have approved a package of development projects designed to continue the development of Dubai as the best city in the world. The Skyway project, the 15km urban transit system, which will transport passengers between the skyscrapers of Dubai as 21 stations, can be read in the Twitter of His Highness. The government media service Dubai Media Office has published a visualization of the project giving the following clarifications. Skypods, the suspended transit systems that link vital spots such as the important infrastructure objects like Dubai International Financial Center and downtown Dubai. The project, uh, which has 21 stations, has the capacity to transit 8,400 riders per hour per direction. The information has already been picked up by the regional news agencies. After the construction project of 15 km Skyway urban transport system in Dubai had been approved by Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the 30th of April. This news was trumpeted by a lot of leading international media. We are quoting the journalists of the leading Middle East news agency Gulf News. Sheikh Mohammed was briefed about the Skypods project, a suspension transit system which would link vital spots such as the Dubai Financial Center and downtown with the Dubai Business Bay of Dubai. The second level transport would pass through the Happiness Street and run up to City Walk through tracks extending 15 km in length. The plan provides for the construction of 21 stations. According to RTA calculations, the carrying capacity per hour in both directions will be 
8,400. Business Gulf News in the Middle East, the news about the project was published by such publications as Halish Times Construction Week Online, What's On and Love in Dubai. The publication of the English-speaking magazine The National, which released the article titled New Video Offers a Futuristic Glimpse of Skypod's Transport System of Dubai, should be highlighted separately. After the publication, a lot of Russian news agencies, such as Lenta, Rakurs, Rambler, also picked up the news. The Dubai Infrastructure Development Program, which was approved by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum on the 30th of April, is called Happiness and Leisure. And together with Skyway, it includes the following projects. The Skyway Garden Pedestrian Bridge, which is 380 meters long and 60 meters high. Its area will be 3,422 square meters. The bridge will connect the city sites along the coast of the Dubai Bay. Sheikh Zaid wrote the project is the area between the Dubai World Trade Center and Dubai Metro stations. The construction envisages the creation of a 2.5 km green zone, which will be open for walking and cycling. The project, undertaken by RTA in collaboration with Karim Company for operating 3,500 bicycles at 350 stations in Dubai. This is uh, the first stage-by-stage -stage program for cyclists in the region. The SkyPod Skyway project, a suspended transit system extending 15 kilometers in length. The plan provides for the construction of 21 stations with the carrying capacity of 8,400 passengers per hour in each direction. The Sunset Promenade Project, a new beachfront scheme spanning 80,000 square meters that will be connected by Jumeirah Beach Walk, oriented for family entertainment. Deira Plaza, a 3.5 hectare complex development that will feature public shaded areas for family recreation as well as the space for outdoor exercise. On the 5th of May, the Vietnamese TV channel ANTV released a report about the scientific and practical conference which was held at the National Conference Center in Hanoi in early May. The topic of the conference was modern technological developments, including the ones in the transport industry. The inventor of Skyway, Anatoly Nitsky, personally flew to present the technology for the string transport for the gathered specialists. The conference was attended by members of the government of Vietnam and representatives of big business. According to the former chairman of the Committee on Science, Technology and Environment at the National Assembly, Mr. Li Bo Lin, Vietnam is an excellent place to apply innovative transport technologies. Despite the fact that the final positive conclusion takes time, there is interest in the transport technology from new cities and regions of Vietnam. That has been all the news this week. We will follow the development of the key events and will share them with you. Watch us on YouTube and Vimeo channels. Do not forget to subscribe to our groups in social networks and remember that Skyway is our future already today. I say goodbye to you for now. My name is Dmitry Morocco. See you next time.